Today we're talking about the ongoing fascination with true crime. Shows, movies, podcasts, I just mentioned forensic files, the serials, making a murderers, uh, Tiger Kings, there's so much more. One interesting note from a study in 2010 that women were more interested in these types of stories. I beg to differ. I'm trying to break the curve all by myself. Now we wanted to dig more into why, so we brought in Elena Torres and Kasha Patel to examine this and more. What is so captivating about these stories? For me, I mean, fact is always more interesting than fiction. And then when you hear about these things that have been happening, and most of them involve <laughs> young women. So I feel like I relate to them. I'm like, oh my gosh, could that happen to me? Every time I watch it, it feels like a learning experience for me. Like I'm just trying to investigate and pick up tips. And like, maybe if I see a guy or like, my fiance, like, oh, could he be Ted Bundy? Like, let me ask this question. Does he do this weird thing? So for me, it's more of just like, could this apply to my life? And if it does, uh, how can I rectify that? All right, how about you, Elena? I think it's tied to fear. You know, there was a study that came out and I don't remember where, but it said that men's biggest fear is humiliation, which might be why they're attracted to comedy. And <laughs> women's biggest fear is violence so i think like anything if you have your biggest fear there's something inside you that's curious about that thing that you're scared of so i think there's this weird twisted thing in women that you kind of want to see that that violence is happening and where it's happening and solve it you know i think there's part of all of us that see that stuff and it's like oh i i knew that guy was the type of guy to do that. Or I met a guy like that yesterday at the library. You know, and it, it just <laughs> makes you somehow feel more connected to that fear, if that makes sense. Yeah, my favorite part at the end of those were like, who would have known he was such a nice guy? I'm like, they don't wear signs. You know, there's not like a t-shirt or a uniform that they wear or else they'd be very ineffective. Right. Uh, I like to watch it and be like, I'd know. Yeah. I know, but you know, you, you, you don't know. And that makes you, I think in some ways more scared. Elena, you, you got my mind going when you said men's biggest fear is humiliation. I'm like, it really is. Why did I stick with stand up? That really doesn't make any sense. I should have quit a long time ago with a bunch of other people, but we're not here to name names. Well, it's that attraction to that fear. There you go. Why do you think uh, women specifically are so drawn to it, Kasha? I mean, statistics show that a lot of women, I mean, women are more um, victims of crimes of like sexual harassment and um, a lot of more violence that would be directed towards women that for me, I just feel like you're, you're kind of listening to what's happening to a friend. You know, it's like women want a care about other women. What's that silly? T what did Taylor Swift say? What did our girl Taylor Swift say? Oh, there's a special play in H double hockey sticks for women who don't support other women. Uh, so to me, it's like you're listening to like what happened to like Martha over there. Let's get them. Oh, crime show. Oh, nothing like that never happens here. It always happens here. It always happens here. There's that one that would never happen here. And then he looked like such a nice guy. Of course he does. That's how he got away with it for so long. Shout out to ID and my personal top three blood relatives, wives with knives and Southern fried homicide. Catch more from Elena on the counter currents podcast release every so often. And you can get more from Kasha on her Twitter handle at Kasha Patel.